Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so today we're going to talk about RICO, R-I-C-O, uh, racketeering laws. So let's see what that is. And I've got a real short, uh, um, very clear uh, description of what RICO is and what it can do and who it can hurt. So let's see what we've got here for what exactly RICO does and what it can do. So RICO is Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act. Racketeering R, Influenced I, Corrupt C, Organizations O, RICO. It's a United States federal law that provides for extended criminal penalties and a civil cause of action for acts performed as part of an ongoing criminal organization. Racketeering is simply defined as dishonest and fraudulent business dealings. So far, check. Uh, the RICO Act focuses specifically on racketeering and allows leaders of a syndicate, leaders of a syndicate, uh, like Trump Org, uh, to be tried for crimes they ordered or assisted others in doing. Before RICO, someone who instructed another to murder, uh, for instance, uh, could not be prosecuted because they did not personally commit the crime. But under RICO, someone can be charged who committed at least two racketeering acts from a list of 27 federal crimes and eight state crimes in a 10-year period, if related, in one of four specific ways with fines up to $25,000 and 20 years in prison per count. Plus, they must forfeit all ill-gotten business gained. RICO allows recovery of three times the amount of actual compensatory damages. The U.S. attorney can temporarily seize assets to require a performance bond, or they can also require a performance bond, so that shell corporations cannot abscond with the assets. The threat of a RICO indictment can force it defendants to plead guilty to lesser charges because seizures of assets make it difficult to pay a defense attorney. A RICO-related charge is easy to prove in court as it focuses on patterns of behavior hmm, as opposed to actual criminal acts. Very interesting. Gosh, I wouldn't want to be a major person in Trump org right now. Okay, so this is the Connolly tarot by Peter Paul Connolly and Eileen Connolly. And this is, this is actually a son and a mother who did these cards. But these are very nice cards to use. I love them a lot. And uh, so the Connollys, um, as a matter of fact, the mother's a PhD and is into parapsychology and all sort of things uh, spiritual. Um, and then so she kind of conceived of this thing. Then she got her son, uh, who was born in 1964, but I guess by then he was a teenager. But she got him to design the cards and uh, he's an artist today. So that's Peter Paul Collin. So, so these are pretty interesting cards. I love them. Let me show you how they look. They've just got so much color in them. Apparently he uh, sketched these out with colored pencils uh, before they became finished works of art. And I guess they're hanging in galleries somewhere on the West Coast, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. So these are beautiful. I love these cards. I mean, they're everything uh, you want to see in a typical, easy to read uh, tarot card. Now put them out like this so you can take a look at them too. You know, everybody likes to see something different and uh, maybe you haven't seen these cards laid out like that before. But um, that's those folks, the Connollys. So this is going to be interesting. So this uh, draw today is going to be full Celtic cross to um, first question of that. You know, I like to ask two questions in those Celtic cross. The first six cards I'm going to just simply say will um, the authorities, let's say, will the authorities find a sufficient um, evidence to charge uh, RICO? And then the second part of that will be, um, not only will they charge RICO, will they convict on RICO? Wow, that's, that's pretty scary. Trump must be really, really, really not sleeping well at all. I cannot imagine if I had a business and I knew that the federal government or even my state government, I mean, or even just another business was was thinking about, uh, can my attorneys uh, charge this guy with RICO? Because, you know, as a, as a uh, personal business, if you feel someone has wronged you and it falls under this RICO provision, you can certainly bring suit uh, also. And there's been several, you know, wiki it, look at it, learn it on Wikipedia, but really read it. Uh, thoroughly because it's a lot of uh, jargon and I kind of like condensed it down to uh, normal people speak in the little short uh, intro 
But uh, look at Wiki and read it through and look at some of the cases that were charged. I mean, several of them were just businesses, not crime uh, enterprises per se, you know, like crime families. So the first six cards from this and will they find sufficient uh, evidence to charge Trump org with RICO violations. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very interesting. Very interesting. So the um, signifier card in all of this is going to be, well, this is interesting. So this is the Ten of Cups, and I'm not sure exactly how the Ten of Cups figures into this, either for a plus or a minus. Um, you know, it has to do with uh, family wealth and celebrations. Um, let's just leave it at that. We'll leave it at that uh, narrow definition. Family wealth and celebrations. That's the signifier card. The challenge to family wealth and celebrations is justice. Man, this is another spooky reading, I think. Okay, family wealth and celebration challenged by justice. The base of this reading, then, is going to be the three of wands. That's long-term planning. Long-term planning. So we're asking the question, will the authorities find enough evidence to charge some uh, RICO crimes. And we've got long-term planning here as the base of this whole thing. The past of this reading is going to be the Four of Wands, and so that's uh, small celebrations. Uh, and, you know, wands are always having to do with plans, action, movement forward. So, and we're talking about this question is directed at the authorities, and so small celebrations were in the past, man. And then uh, for the um, sky of this reading, is going to be the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Wands is really moving a heavy load forward. So, and it looks like this fella here is even planting seeds. Look at this. This does not look good at all. Um, okay, and then the likely outcome for the first part of this, will they find sufficient uh, evidence to charge Rico? And um, five, six, seven of Wands, and this is the fella, the Seven of Wands, is the fellow who has um, mastered uh, a lot of these wands and he's ready to take on some more. And I'm going to use my cheat sheet just to pull out another definition of seven of wands and would be defense, uh, valor, advantage, yeah, determination, yeah. Wow. So I would say yes to the first part of that question. So something they're going to find enough to charge. But for the second part, we're going to ask, um, will they actually um, convict? Will they convict? On RICO charges. Man, and remember, this could be way into the future, so I may be way overreaching any uh, perceived uh, ability I may have. So the, the, self, the self of this is as to whether uh, they will convict. Is temperance, okay, so temperance is, you know, it's up in the air because they've got to find a balance. They've got to find a balance of, of getting this done. So that's that. And then the um, environment looking for that balance is in is wow is holding on to what you got this is the four of pentacles and the four of pentacles is really standing on some of that worth uh juggling a couple of pieces of worth up here in the air so it's all very uh, uh, tenuous it looks like so finding a balance with temperance holding on to what you've got and then the uh hopes and the fears of this for the authorities is the page of swords so the page of swords is a uh, you know what this is a, uh, a messenger. In this case, I would almost say it's a spy in the camp, holding the truth, holding the justice. Uh, this is someone, I think, who is key in turning the whole thing over to justice. And then the likely outcome for all of this, which is this is the big payoff card. Will they um, uh, actually um, win this? It's a king of swords. Man, if I wanted an affirmation, a big yes card, I would like to have the King of Swords, the King of Truth, King of Justice. Wow. 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 It looks like eventually this is going to happen. I mean, that couldn't be clear. And who am I? I'm nobody. But the cards, I mean, I asked a couple of questions and they responded. I mean, I just, just read what the cards mean and they responded very uh, perfectly to the questions. Um, the uh, signifier was uh, the family. Uh, challenged by what? Challenged by justice. Um, the other thing that was significant in that is um, in the self of this thing, uh, regarding whether they will actually convict, we've got temperance, so having to balance things out. 
and that's in the environment of the four pentacles really holding on to what evidence I suppose they've got so that because you know this evidence has a time limit it's within the last 10 years so stuff starts to falls off fall off if it happened 11 or 10 years in a day ago page of swords was the spy in the camp and the likely outcome to the question will they uh, convict is a great big yes with this king of swords swords of truth justice yeah this is happening I'm Mark my journey through tarot tomorrow's another day stop by we'll do it again ciao for now